Hi, welcome to my channel and welcome to this new Save the Crafty YouTuber video hub. In this hub all different styles of crafters are coming together to share a lot of inspiration and give you a chance to discover other amazing crafters. The next person in this hub is linked down below in the description box. We invite you to sit back, relax and enjoy all the videos and of course we appreciate it if you give the videos a thumbs up if you liked it and we are very happy to welcome you as a new subscriber if you want to. Don't forget to hit that bell after subscribing to make sure that you get a notification when new videos go live. Now we are also giving you a chance in winning a prize from one of our fabulous sponsors. I myself am giving away a £20 gift certificate by Visible Image. You can find the link to their website underneath the video so you can check out all the fabulous stamps and stencils. All you have to do is leave a comment underneath the video to have a chance in winning. We also have loads of other great sponsors so it might be good to know that the more videos you comment on the bigger the chance in winning. Please indicate if you are located in the USA or international as some of the prizes not all have restrictions on them. But for now, let's just sit back and get creative. I have cut some squares out of watercolor paper and I'll add some color to them using these Faber Castell Albrecht Durer watercolor markers. These are water-based light fast markers and have just been released by Faber Castell. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail for now, but I'll have a complete review on them and you can find the link for this review in the description box below. For my project I'm taking out the purple violet, the green gold and of course also the greys and the black marker. For my first layer I want a very light wash of grey, so I'm just scribbling down some color onto a plastic sheet and then I'm diluting it using some water onto my plastic sheet and also by spraying a fine mist on my paper. Now if your layer is too light you can just come back and add some more color. Now I know I want my squares in this shape leaving me some space in the middle for my focal image. So my next layer is not going to be random, but I want to add color on the inside of my squares, right around the open space. As you want the color to go and follow a certain shape, you need to keep in mind that you'll be flipping your plastic sheet. So if you want to have color going on at the left side of your paper, you need to put it on the right side of your plastic. I'm also using less water this time to have more edges, so I'm not spraying water onto my paper, only on my plastic sheet.
To have my squares to stand out a bit more, I'm starting by adding some black ink on the edges. For my focal point, I'm going to stamp the big butterfly out of this Wings of Change set by Visible Image. Now as I'm working on texturized watercolor paper, I'm using my MISTI and I'll be stamping everything twice. I want a soft color for my butterfly, so I'm only using a tiny bit of the marker as they are highly pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. And once my first layer is ready, I'll keep building up my color to create more depth. I need something for my butterfly to rest on, so I've cut out the circle which I will color, but I don't want the circle to have a smooth finish, so I'm randomly adding my color and I'm playing with the water to get a splotchy effect. To get my circle to stand out a bit more, I'm using this tree branch ink to darken up the edges as it fits the green golden marker perfectly. I want to add in some details in my squares, so I'm taking out some tiny stamps or parts of stamps. The first one is this creative chaos set, where I'll be stamping only a part of the circle stamp, so I've masked off the parts that I don't need.
I also want a little square and the Shape It Up set has the perfect tiny square stamp. And I want to add a fine line, so I'm using part of that one line in this Sparkle in the Rain set, which, yes, I have cut off of the stamp, so I can easily use it on its own, as I just love that line. And then of course these tiny elements need some color too. For my sentiment, I'm taking a word out of this beautiful Random Art of Kindness set and I've chosen the word Strength. All I need now are some fine details to finish off my project. I've cut out a tiny black heart using this memory box die set and I'm also going to add a tiny bit of gold. I've marked where I want my gold so I can apply my glue and once my glue has become clear I can go and add my foil. Thank you so much for stopping by, I hope you've enjoyed the project and if you have any questions just put them down in the comments and I'll get back to you.